promulgation. Promulgation means a public announcement or to make publicly known. We are at 15 U.S. Code 1604, Disclosure Guidelines, Promulgation, Contents, etc. of Regulations. The Bureau shall prescribe regulations to carry out the purposes of this subchapter, except with respect to the provision of Section 1639 of this title that apply to a mortgage referred to in 1602A8 of this title. Such regulations may contain such additional requirements, classifications, differentiations, or other provisions, and may provide for such adjustments and exceptions for all or any class of transactions, as in the judgment of the Bureau, are necessary or proper to effectuate the purposes of this subchapter to prevent circumvention or evasion thereof or to facilitate compliance therewith. B. Model disclosure forms and clauses, publication criteria, compliance, etc. The Bureau shall publish a single integrated disclosure for mortgage loan transactions, including real estate settlement cost statements, which includes the disclosure requirements of this subchapter in conjunction with the disclosure requirements of the Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act of 1974. 12 U.S.C. 2601 that, taken together, may apply to a transaction that is subject to both or either provisions of law. The purpose of such model disclosure shall be to facilitate compliance with the disclosure requirements of this subchapter and the Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act of 1974, and to aid the borrower or lessee in understanding the transaction by utilizing readily understandable language to simplify the technical nature of the disclosures. In devising such forms, the Bureau shall consider the use by creditors or lessors of data processing, creditors or lessors of data processing or similar automated equipment. <clears throat> Nothing in this subchapter may be construed to require a creditor or lessor to use any such model form or clause prescribed by the Bureau under this section. A creditor or lessor shall be deemed to be in compliance with the disclosure provisions of this subchapter with respect to with respect to other than numerical disclosures, if the creditor or lesser one uses any appropriate model form or clause published by the Bureau, or two, uses any such model form or clause and changes it by A, deleting any information which is not required by the subchapter, or B, rearranging the format, if in making such deletion or rearranging the format, the creditor or lessor does not affect, affect the substance, clarity, or meaningful sequence of the disclosure. C. Procedures applicable for adoption of model forms and clauses. Model disclosure forms and clauses shall be adopted by the Bureau after notice duly given in the Federal Register and an opportunity for public comment in according with Section 553 of Title V. Effective dates of regulations containing new disclosure requirements. Any regulation of the Bureau or any amendment or interpretation thereof requiring any disclosure which differs from the disclosure previously required by this part, Part D or Part E, or by any regulation of the Bureau homograded thereunder, shall have an effective date of that October 1st, 
which follows by at least six months the date of promulgation except that the Bureau may at its discretion take interim action by regulation amendment or interpretation to lengthen the period of time permitted for creditors or lessors to adjust their forms to accommodate new requirements or shorten the length of time for creditors or lessors to make such adjustments when it makes a specific finding that such action is necessary to comply with the findings of a court or to prevent unfair or deceptive disclosure practices. Notwithstanding the previous sentence, any creditor or lesser may comply with any such newly promulgated disclosure requirements prior to the effective date of the requirements. E. Disclosure for charitable mortgage loan transactions. With respect to a mortgage loan transaction involving a residential mortgage loan offered at 0% interest with only bona fide and reasonable fees and that it is primarily for charitable purposes by an organization described in Section 501c3 of Title 26 and exempt from taxation under Section 501a of such title, Forms HUD-1 and GFE as defined under Section 1024.2b of Title 12 Code of Federal Regulations together with the disclosure substantially in the form of the loan model form H2 as depicted in Appendix, Appendix H to Part 1026 of, of the title of Title 12 Code of Federal, federal, federal Regulations. Yeah, tongue twister. Shall collectively be an appropriate model form for purposes of subsection B of this section. F, exemption authority. One, in general, the Bureau may exempt by regulation from all or part of this subchapter or all or any class of transactions other than transactions involving any mortgage described in 1602AA of this title, for which, in the determination of the Bureau, coverage under all or part of this subchapter does not provide a meaningful benefit to consumers in the form of useful information or protection. Factors for consideration. In determining which classes of transaction to exempt in whole or in part under paragraph 1, the Bureau shall consider the following factors and publish its rationale at the time a proposed exemption is published for comment. A. The amount of a loan and whether the disclosures, right of rescission, and other provisions provide a benefit to the consumers who are parties to such transactions as determined by the Bureau. B, the extent to which the requirements of the sub subchapter complicate, hinder, or make more expensive the credit process for the class of transactions. C, the status of the borrower, including any related financial arrangements of the borrower, as determined by the Bureau. The financial sophistication of the borrower re relative to the type of transaction. The importance to the borrower of the credit related supporting property and coverage under this subchapter as determined by the Bureau. D. Whether the loan is secured by the principal residence of the consumer and whether the goal of consumer protection would be undermined by such an exemption. G, waiver for certain borrowers. In general, the Bureau, by regulation, may exempt from the requirements of this subchapter certain credit transactions if the transaction involves a consumer with an annual in earned income of more than 200000 or having net assets in excess of 100000 one million, at the time of the transaction. If a waiver that is handwritten, signed, and dated by the consumer 
is first obtained from the consumer. Two, adjustments by the Bureau. The Bureau, at its discretion, may adjust the annual earned income and net asset requirements of paragraph one for inflation, H, deference. Notwithstanding any power granted to any federal agency under the subchapter, the deference that a court affords to the Bureau with respect to a determination made by the Bureau relating to the meaning or interpretation of any provision of this subchapter other than section 1639E or 1639H of this title shall be applied as if the Bureau were the only agency authorized to apply, enforce, interpret, or administer the provisions of this subchapter. I. Authority of the Board to prescribe rules, notwithstanding subsection A. The Board shall have authority to prescribe rules under this subchapter with respect to a person described in Section 1519A of Title 12. Regulations prescribed under this subsection may contain such classifications, differentiations, or other provisions as in the judgment of the Board are necessary or proper to effectuate the purposes of this subchapter to prevent circumvention or evasion thereof or to facilitate compliance therewith. Okay, that concludes this section.